Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at an Oracle SQL PL SQL interview question that is difference between row ID and row num. Now both of them are quite different from each other but this is a very commonly asked interview question so let's take a look into it. So first of all row ID and row num both of them are pseudo columns. Pseudo columns are columns that are not actually a part of table but you can query them uh, with the table and it uh, it will give you an output just like a normal column but you can just select from these columns you cannot insert update or delete so these are like columns that are you know either get populating on the runtime or you know they are oracle um, used columns uh, such as this row id now this row id basically contains the address of the row it contains the exact location of the row like as we know the data is stored in form of blocks uh, oracle blocks in the database so when you when you say something like row id of a row that means the address of that particular row in the database it's like the data file the data block uh, what position it is at the data block the uh, you know the data file that contains that data block and all that in detail kind of the address will be stored in this row ID in a hexadecimal value so as you have the exact row address it is the fastest way to access a single row so you if when you write select star from table name where row ID is equal to so that is like the fastest way you can get to that row it's even faster than the primary key you know uh, so we can say it is a unique identifier for a row in a table now in a table no two uh, separate rows will have the same row ID okay so this row ID never gets repeated between columns in a particular table it might get repeated for two different tables if you know it's a cluster and then the tables are uh, the rows in the tables might be at the same row ID might be might not be be but if you consider a particular table then the row ID of every row is unique what row ID contains is it contains the data block in the data file in which the row resides okay the exactly where the row is it says the position of the row in that data block whether it's the first row or second row or like that and it says this the data file in which this row is there whether it's what kind of the data file is with the tables place is the first data file or the second or like that okay so that is what row id is what i'll do is i'll jump on to my sql developer and show you what row id is okay, i'll take my table departments okay so i have department id department name and location id what i'll do is i'll also take row id fine i'll just do it d dot gave an alias over here of d so you can see the row IDs now this is the address of this row okay the blocks these are 18 digit okay first of all it contains the block the row the file that full uh, detail so if you want to fetch this row you can write something like select star from departments where row ID equals to this one just give it in a single inverted commas and you get your row and you get your row so this is the fastest way through which you can locate a particular row okay so this is always unchangeable like a row will not leave its location like it's like the permanent address of a guy okay so it doesn't change normally but in some cases this uh, row ID of a row might change say suppose we export a database import it somewhere else the row ID might change okay might what it definitely would change okay and then uh, you say you do uh, you just string the table okay you remove uh, you you just uh, you know delete this record and then you insert some other record then might be that that particular row ID now refers to some other row so that way it can change but normally in a stable situation okay this one the row id won't change but always do use row id with the primary key if you are even selecting it not just this way row id because you might just delete the row and then you know in future you might just insert some other row and that new row might take up this current place uh, empty place in that uh, in that you know data block 
so if you are going to do a select with a row ID always do have a caution and use the end primary key or whatever other column also you can do it with select insert update uh, update delete selects all of them but just use it with some other column also okay so this is about row ID it stores the exact uh, address of the row in the database fine and uh, now let's go to row number this row number is quite simple it it just returns uh, a number for each row that is returned by the query so if the query returns one row the row number will be one if the query returns four row the first row selected will get the number one the second row selected two three four like that okay so I'll just show the same thing again if I do select d dot star comma row number okay which is given as R O W N U M from say departments table given alias of D as you can see row number is just a number it's one two three four five six and so on it will just give a number to each and every row okay so if my select statement returns just one row so suppose where I say department ID is equal to say 90 I get only one because just one row is fetched it will give it will be given the number as number one like that if two rows are fetched it will be one two similarly so this is what row num stands for the number uh, the it gives a number to each and every uh, row that is returned by the uh, select statement whereas the row ID is the exact address of that particular row in the database so these both are quite different but this is a frequently asked question what is the difference between row ID and row num you know they get a chance to understand your concepts on the row number which is then used widely in the analytical functions also they uh, understand about how you know about the Oracle database and this data blocks and extends and data files and table spaces and all if they ask you what row ID is so I hope this video is informative you guys enjoyed watching it please do subscribe to my channel and please do like share and subscribe this video this is Kishan signing off thank you